It's Saturday Live again. Would you please put your hands together for your host, Marcus Bridgestock? Hey! Thank you very much indeed. Hello, good evening. Yes, we are live. Yes, I am your host, Marcus Brigstock. And yes, I'm as nervous as a Sudanese English teacher on bear naming day. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the original Saturday Live went on air 21 years ago in 1986 when razors only had one blade and yet somehow people managed not to have a beard. <laughs> oh, a quick message for the Sudanese government, because I know they're watching. It was a bear! <laughs> a teddy! 15 days in jail for naming a teddy bear. Actually, it's lucky they didn't find out the bear's full name, Mohammed the Pooh. <laughs> and his best friend, Piglet the Unclean. <laughs> See, the problem is, in some Muslim cultures, bears are considered to be disgusting and dirty. To be fair, we do know they shit in the woods. <laughs> and, of course, the bear will now have to go to jail. Prison's a very tough place for teddies. That's how Pudsey lost his eye. <laughs> Shank from Hamble from play school. Very nasty. <laughs> Now, I'm a celebrity, uh, finished last night. Everybody watch it? Yeah. yeah! And the winner, well, I say winner, uh, last loser to finish, was, of course, <laughs> Christopher Biggins. Uh, Janice Dickinson was, was my favourite. Uh, anyone? Janice Dickinson? Yeah, yeah but would you? Yeah. <laughs> she was ten years less mad. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't like plastic surgery, but it's taken ten years off her and then added three weeks of being attacked in the face by lobsters. <laughs> Too bitchy, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> poor old Amy Winehouse has cancelled her remaining tour gigs, but she will be here later tonight. Well, I've left a trail of cocaine from her house all the way <laughs> to the studio, so it can only be a matter of time. <laughs> she's actually... Uh, she's going to go and visit her husband in prison. I wonder if she'll manage to smuggle any drugs in. Here's a tip for any prison guards watching. Search her hair. <laughs> well, then it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack, wouldn't it? Literally. Ooh, there's the drugs. <laughs> and a file, and a ladder, and a badger, and a tiny Amy Winehouse who operates this one using levers. <laughs> and one of her gigs, right, in Glasgow, Amy told the entire audience her husband would come and sort them out. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to find out she's threatened the whole of Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> That's Glasgow, the city where even being on fire isn't enough to stop you being punched in the head. <laughs> It's been a good few weeks for the government, of course. Gordon Brown is in meltdown. What is it about a man with a wobbly jaw in crisis that's so amusing? <laughs> Can you believe the government have lost 25 million personal records? I mean, some of the people here don't even know who they are anymore. Do you worry about identity theft, my friend? No, you don't look like you do. You look like, <laughs> frankly, you'd be glad if someone took your life. <laughs> In fairness, they reckon the missing CDs are still somewhere at the Home Office. Uh, apparently, Alistair Darling's mum's gone in for a really proper look. Here it is. It was in the second drawer. I bloody looked there. Not with your eyes. <laughs> and now the government have posted an apology to the 25 million people. Posted! With all the banky, addressy, numbery details on. I wouldn't even post a tenner in a card anymore. You know, unless the card said, Dear the sorting office, here's a tenner. <laughs> What was the weak link in that system, do you suppose? You know, the powerful computer that encrypted billions of bits of data onto a laser-driven disk, or the fact that they then gave it to a bloke called Dave who's got a trolley with a brake on it and can't even whistle, whistle while you work, while he works. <laughs> Everything they do to make this situation better makes it worse. It's like the government's accidentally done a massive poo in the middle of the room, and then to make it better, they've decided to try and piss it towards the door. <laughs> piss it out! Oh, no! It's gone up towards the window. 